Well, we're up to the point in our game where we're going to start learning some multiple ball kick shots. Now, this is a two cushion kick shot, and I want to explain how you know which two cushion shot to use. If you look at a pool table, basically it's a rectangle. The length is twice the width. And if you divide this table in half, you have two squares. And often you'll have balls in one square or the other, and you have to learn how to kick at a ball so that you don't get ball in hand. So I'm going to show you this now for the two cushion kick system where you actually have two balls in the same square. So here's a game of eight ball, and the eight balls on this side of these two balls, and the cue balls on this side, and you can't really go one rail on this shot. You can't go this way because the nine's in the way, and you can't go this way because the 15's in the way. So the only shot you've already got here is the two rail option. You're going to really shoot the cue ball into this cushion, go one, two cushions, and hit the eight ball. Not necessarily to make it, but at least to hit it so you don't get ball in hand. Now what I'm going to do in order to see this better, I'm going to pull these two balls out of the way, and explain how to calculate this shot. You take the uh, eight ball and the cue ball and you take this line between the two balls and all you do is, is you find the midpoint on that line. Now everybody can pretty much calculate a midpoint. In this case I'll put the chalk down about where the midpoint is. So in other words from that eight ball to this cue ball that's the midpoint or the center on that line. So if that line were 20 inches that would be the midpoint of 10. The second part is very simple. You just take your cue stick Stick it over top of the chalk in your practice time and extend your cue stick right into that corner pocket, just like that. Now in that corner pocket there's a diamond and we covered that in one of our prior segments. Now if you look at this real close, you've got an angle over here by this corner. And I'm going to kind of bring my hand over here, you can see this. There's an angle right here. And this angle is your kick angle into this rail. So I'm going to show you how to move your cue stick now over to the cue ball. You take this line giving you the angle and you simply move parallel over to the cue ball. Now I'm going to go back and do that again. I want to make sure we got that. So we go from here and we move parallel. Now just so we are absolutely sure that we don't make a mistake, here's some things that happen. Sometimes players will come over and they move the back of their cue and it's out of parallel. And sometimes they'll move their cue stick over and the front of the cue will be out of parallel. So that's not going to give you the same angle. So remember, you kick your angle you move parallel, then all you do is you just shoot right down that line with right English on the cue ball. That's your one tip by definition. Just hit it just like this. And the ball hits the eight and you don't get ball in hand. This is an amazing easy way to hit a ball two cushions when both balls are in the same square. So continue to use this whenever you're in a situation like that and you'll win a lot more games without giving ball in hand, according to Dr. Q. You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA pool league today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today.